Hey everyone, today we're going to be talking about Super Smash Bros. Ultimate uh, and some things that might have or could have happened to the online play uh, that Sakurai has admitted in the latest Famitsu column thanks to a leak. Also, we have updated sales data for the game as well uh, to discuss. But before we get into that, I want to tell you guys about our massive giveaway, the biggest giveaway we've ever done at the channel uh, that's happening in the month of September with the winner announced on October 1st. And that is a giveaway for a Nintendo Switch Lite. Now, we actually are going to have three winners. So there's the grand prize, which is the Switch Lite, and then two second place winners, which will get an opportunity. Well, not an opportunity. They will get a Switch game of choice, physically or digitally. And for now, this giveaway is open worldwide. Now, how do you enter? Well, it's actually kind of convoluted not really it's pretty simple go down in the description uh we have links to everything that you need to do but essentially you like this video comment on this video subscribe to the channel uh you can follow us on twitter and then join our discord server that is how you enter this giveaway now uh each one of those entries has different uh amount of entries tied to it as an example subscribing to our channel is worth 10 entries since you can only do that one time uh but uh, the comment and likes you can actually do on every single video throughout the month of September to get additional entries. So for, basically go look at any video released in September and get your comment, get your like in, uh, and good luck. And yeah, this is pretty great. Oh, by the way, uh, one reason we're even doing such a big giveaway is because we are trying to hit 50 thousand subscribers before november 1st of 2020 and if that happens there's actually an ongoing bet in my house with my fiance over whether or not we're going to get there or not uh and i really want to lose that bet because i don't think it's going to happen but if we hit 50,000 subscribers by november 1st of 2020 in the month of november we will be giving away a playstation 5 an xbox series x or an og switch to one lucky winner so stay tuned uh as we start ramping up the giveaways heading into the holiday season and as i try to give back um, to my community. Now, let's get into the news today because Sakurai uh, does this thing where he talks in uh, the Famitsu almost every single week. He has like a weekly column uh, and part of that column is leaked. Now, we don't have the entirety of it, but a lot of this talks about netcode. Uh, because Netcode's always been this big bugaboo with the Smash community because Super Smash Bros. online play uh, is pretty laggy, even to this day. It's it's better now than obviously at launch when there's been there's less people hammering the servers at the same time, but it's still not great. Uh, so let's just get into this. Uh, credit goes out to Push Dustin on Twitter who actually translated the excerpt. So let's let's check this out here. Um, so as you see, uh, it says Sakurai on column is leaked. We'll be talking about adjustments made to online 1v1 in Smash. It sold over 20 million. So before we get into the online adjustments, let's talk about that 20 million sales. Smash Bros. Ultimate is the best-selling fighting game of all time. This was already true over a year ago. Like, it's been true for a long time. But having another Switch game over 20 million, having a fighting game over 20 million is so unheard of. Uh, it's almost impossible to me to imagine how they are going to be able to follow up Super Smash Bros. Ultimate ever because it is the ultimate Smash Bros. game. And Sakurai has recently put out there that like this was the um, a, a, the, a favor uh, to Satura Iwata, the late Satura Iwata, this game. Like, this was one of the last requests uh, Satoru Iwata made of him. So he's putting everything he can into it. Hence all the DLC characters. Hence the long hours. Hence it being the ultimate version of it with everything. Like, he has put more effort into this game probably than any other game in his career. And that is because of his love and admiration for Satoru Iwata in fulfilling his final request uh, with Smash Bros. So this does obviously leave the questions on if Sakurai is going to be making future Smash Bros. games. We assume he's probably going to be still part of it, if, at least as an overseer, but this is Sakurai. He can't just be an overseer. Um, he, he just won't let himself. He works too hard. But I do think that um, you're going to see uh, the next Smash Bros. game isn't going to be coming for a long time. Like This is 
like I honestly think a next gen Switch is just gonna be a port of, of Smash Ultimate or backwards compatible with better visuals or something. I honestly don't think that we're gonna see a new Smash game. It could be a decade or more. Uh, so really appreciate what's happening in the here and now with Smash because it could be a long time. Now let's get into some of the online changes uh, or, or uh, changes they attempted to make specific to the netcode. So you scroll up here, it says, The reason that the adjustments to 1v1 in Smash was not officially announced in-game was because the speed improvements largely depend on how players are connected to the internet. Um, so there have been, um, basically, there's some underlying improvements made to the current netcode in the game to make 1v1 Smash a little better. Uh, this doesn't affect anything other than 1v1 Smash, but they didn't announce it uh, because, you know, it, it's going to depend on if you're wirelessly connected, if you're... Uh, not wirelessly connected. If you are wirelessly connected, how good is your given router and your connection to that router? How fast is your internet? There's a lot of different, um, you know, roadblocks in between. You know how how good it could be, but they did te technically make some improvements to one-on-one. -on -one, uh, so we'll have to see how true that is. But if you scroll back, uh, scroll up, it says rollback netcode was looked at during development, but it had a lot of adverse side effects. Now, the column is not out yet, so we're going to get more details on what this means. But um, for those who don't know, rollback netcode is the kind of netcode that every other fighting game uses. There's, there's basically two different ways um, of, of communicating this, uh, the, the, this stuff. So how rollback typically works, this is extreme layman's terms, is that um, when inputs are put into the, the game, uh, the other side's game is rolled back to where those inputs land, so then it creates a more accurate depiction of what's happening in real time. Right? This is a, the, this is basically what what a lot of uh, MMOs kind of do a little bit. MMOs are a bit different because everything's kind of ran on a server, but um, yeah, it, it, it's very similar. And where, and where things are rolled back, so everyone's kind of experiencing the same gameplay at the same time, even if uh, one person might be slightly ahead of the other person. Uh, there are adverse side effects to that, however, uh, not just in Smash Rolls, but even in other fighting games, rollback is not perfect. It just tends to be better than what Nintendo uses. Um, yeah, the, it, it's it's hard to explain because there's obviously drawbacks to the way Nintendo does it, which we've seen with all the, all the lag, and there's drawbacks to rollback netcoding. Now, I think the interesting thing to talk about with rollback netcoding is... What are the possible problems that Robot Netcoding presented uh, to the Smash team? And uh, there are things unique to Smash Bros. That, that you could very well see as a problem, such as items. And even if Rollback Netcode worked better for 1v1s, it, 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 this, they have an overall system of Netcode on Super Smash Bros. Ultimate and the Switch. So it wouldn't just affect 1v1. It could affect four, you know, one v one v one. You know, it could affect the the four player uh, fighting, which is not typical. Like, remember, most fighting games are one v one. Rollback netcode works so well because most fighting games, your Street Fighters, your Tekken's, they are one v one. But Smash Bros is up to one v one v one v one online. Heck, we haven't even gotten to the point, you know, eight player online. Like, it, it's there are a lot more players playing online items you have moving stages now granted so there are some stage things in other games as well but nothing like smash Bros. smash Bros. is highly unique in how the stages work highly unique with the item uses usages and obviously a little bit unique in how the damage uh system and multipliers are as well so yeah um smash bros is very unique uh in terms of fighting games so because of that it's possible that rollback netcode actually has a worse effect on online play than what Nintendo has done. So we've talked for years and years how, man, they should just use better netcode, better netcode, use rollback netcode. Uh, but maybe it doesn't work as well as we think it does. We'll have to trust Sakurai on this, and he'll probably release some more finer details on why uh, rollback netcode was, was scrapped, even if it might have been better for 1v1s. Uh, but... Yeah, competitive scenes probably all up in arms of being like, I don't have items on. We do no items, 1v1, final destination. Like, we don't need it. It would be better for us professional players. But you know what? If it makes all the casual play worse, Sakurai ain't just worried about competitive play. That Sakurai is traditionally not given a crap about competitive play. So uh, even though he seems to care more and more now, maybe because Nintendo's making him care, because Nintendo's paying more attention to the Smash community, I do think that uh, we have to be more conscious of 
this and, and, and what it actually entails. So um, that's kind of uh, crazy to me. Uh, there's no additional details beyond the, the sales data update and uh, the fact that they tried the rollback netcode and it had more adverse effects. You guys, um, let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. Obviously, I'm just really looking forward to whatever the next DLC game is. And uh, because this might be the last Smash game uh, before I'm 40, because <laughs> I turned 40 in six years, uh, I'm just going to sit here and enjoy uh, what Nintendo has done here, what Sakurai's done here, uh, this final request from Iwata for him to make this game. Uh, I am uh, even more in awe of everything that Smash Bros. Ultimate is, so much so that I might finally go unlock all the characters. Um, yeah, I've been pretty lazy about it. Smash and fighting games are not my, my big cup of tea, uh, but I do own the game. I should go unlock everything. Heck, maybe I'll even buy the DLC uh, just because... I mean, after all, Banjo Kazooie's in it, and I love Banjo. And I've been waiting for Banjo Kazooie my whole life, and I still haven't bought the DLC. What's wrong with me? Anyways, folks, I am Nintendo RoboJets from Nintendo Prime. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. Be sure to enter our giant giveaway for the month of September Switch Lite. Uh, all those games, literally top of the description down below, will explain how to enter. Thank you guys for tuning in, and I will catch each and every one of you in the very next video. Or, by the way, you can go check out NintendoPrime.com. I am putting up some news like over there as well, including like an article about this that's like has this video in it, but also the news. <laughs> All right. Bye.